Uh, Joseph van Wissem, uh, you made the music for uh, Jim Jarmusch's film Only Lovers Left Alive. Uh, how did you, as an avant-gardist, uh, lutist player, end up as a composer for music for a vampire film by Jim Jarmusch? Well, I just met him on the street uh, in New York one day and gave him a CD and uh, I asked him, you know, if he would be interested in the instrument lute and he said yes. And I gave him the CD and then I didn't hear from him for a while and at some point I got an uh, email from his office asking me to send everything I ever made. And oh, really? And I sent that and then after that, you know, we started to hang out and talk about music and history and art and stuff and uh, we became friends and started to make music together and uh, recordings because and he's a guitar player as, as well. yes he he's actually he was a musician before he, he became a filmmaker so uh, I also think that you know he kind of makes his films more being a musician you know than being a filmmaker what do you mean by that I think he's just really inspired by music and I think the music comes first with him, really. I think he writes his scripts even, you know, listening to music. And then, you know, he puts it down, you know, that way. He just gets, you know, he just gets, like, music kind of channels the script in a way. Was that what happened with your music? The music you let him know? Well, um... I don't know. I mean, I, kn I know he was listening to it and, you know, during his driving, like long car drives, uh, he was kind of listening to my music um, before. But, yeah, I guess. I mean, he asked me a while ago already, you know, to make music for this film, or he had the idea. And then last summer, um, I recorded eight pieces and uh, with this film in mind after he gave me the script. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you know, I came out with these pieces and most of them ended up in the film, you know, in one way or another, either solo or with electric guitar, or drums or voice. And we added stuff to that. So I guess that initial recordings, they kind of set the tone for this film. Mm -hmm. But what is it in your music that made him think of a vampire film then? Oh, well... I mean, that's a little, little bit besides the point because it's not really a vampire film. He or just, a vampire he romance. Just like, or I think he just like, uh, you know, takes the genre and then makes kind of like a, you know anti-vampire film. You know? Mm -hmm. So but what is there in your music which is anti-vampire? Everything is anti-vampire. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, I hope it's timeless. Uh -huh. And that's kind of like vampires, you know. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't know. It's more a love story, I think, but it's also uh, a critic against contemporary society. It's critical of that, and that's what I, you know, think is really important, and which kind of gets forget forgotten a little bit sometimes. Mm -hmm. Is that something you address in your m with your music as well? Well, I think the lute is very anti-contemporary society, anti-computers, anti, you know, every all the shit you don't need that people, you know, think you need or mm -hmm. make you think you know, you would need. And I think it's kind of a back to nature, you know, more uh, introvert, introspected, introspective um, instrument. Mm -hmm. And I think that goes against contemporary uh, society, you know, and not looking at a screen all the time, for mm -hmm. example. And I think it stands for that. And I think the film has, you know, has that too, as Adam says, you know, you know, people are zombies, you know. Which I agree, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you look at the screen all at the screen all the time, you're a zombie. <laughs> no, I think so. And in the record industry, people are zombies too. Yeah, but they died already. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, with film music, it is often the case that the film uh, is made more or less completely, and then afterwards the music is added so as a kind of supplement. How was that with this film? Uh, like I said, he gave me the script, and then. I sort of wrote these pieces, but I mean, I did not write to the script, you know, I write from a certain mood, I always write like a certain time uh, in a certain period, I write a set of pieces and they become a record or they go into a film. So I didn't really like, uh, you know, record to images or whatever. It's more open, you know, mm -hmm. and a lot of 
things happen in, in the meantime too, you know, once, you know, after sh shooting and then editing, you know. So it's more, you know, multi-layered complicated thing. And, and did, get, did uh, Jim Jarmusch give you any instructions when you were recording the music? Like, I want to have uh, slow music or no. very sober or whatever? No. No, nothing? No. No, he didn't. Um, I gave him these pieces. Of course, you know, I'm really familiar with his work. Uh, you know, I once stole a film poster out of a movie, movie theater in the lobby. You know, people were, you know, it was Stranger Than Paradise when it came out. And uh, I was in the lobby, it was filled with people, and there was this life-size poster, which was beautiful, and I wanted it, and I stole it, and I put, put it in my jacket. Uh -huh. Nobody saw it. You, uh -huh. you still have it? No, I don't know where it is. So. Oh. <laughs> Travel too much, I guess. Okay. But, um, so you I'm you always took it with you? Sorry? You always took it with you? To a certain point, yeah, yeah. and then I got, you know, it got lost uh -huh. some, somewhere. Okay. But no, I, so I'm familiar with his work, and, um, and I kind of, I know, the, you know, he has, there's a lot of space usually in his films, and I think my music has that, you know, I don't, we're not very into tech, you know, technical stuff, you know, so we kind of like the, you know, the space. So I guess that, you know, that's kind of, with that in mind, I sort of composed and score in a way. And when you stole that post of, uh, of Stranger Than Paradise, your were you thinking like, oh, I really want to make, uh, someday I want to make music for a film by him? No, I didn't. I was more a musician. I didn't mm. really, I mean, musician, musician. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about making music for film, you know. Uh -huh. But also, I mean, I must say that, you know, I worked on the score together with Jim also, you know, he, he did some music mm -hmm. for it too, you know. Mm -hmm. so. With his own band as well. Yeah, yeah, but I'm also part of his band now. Okay. So it's a little uh -huh. bit convoluted, I would say. But when you when you gave him this CD, when you met him on the street, what were your thoughts in giving him the CD? Just like here is my music, or also perhaps you will think of a film. With no, this? I didn't see. I just you know I, I was very happy to see him, and uh, I just gave him the CD. I didn't really think about the consequences. You know, mm -hmm. I just you know I just gave him the music. It's more out of respect. I was you know happy to see him, and you know mm -hmm. I was more a fan. Uh huh. Yeah. I heard that the the vampire uh, male character uh, is partly based on you. Well, that's yeah, Tom Hilson at the after party in in Cannes. He said that you know half the character was based on me, I guess. Yeah. But what half? I don't know. You have to ask him. Oh, okay. You don't know. You have if you if you see him on the screen, you don't think, oh yeah, okay, that's more oh, yeah, or less like me. There are certain mannerisms that that he has. Uh, for example, when he plays the lute, you know, like when he stretches his arm like that. Uh -huh. So I recognize that. But also, like I, t I told, I mean, I taught him lute playing, uh, you know, for a few days mm -hmm. during the shooting, mm -hmm. you know, how to hold his hand and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So well, he was good, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very good natural talent. Maybe, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. There are not many lute players. No. So perhaps there is another opportunity for him. I think he's too busy. Too busy, yeah. Yeah. But and you, you keep performing a lot over over the world. Yes. All kinds of music. Also, you you started as a lutist playing Renaissance and Baroque music, I guess. Uh, I started as an experimental guitar player. Okay. And, and then, then I got then I got bored of that, and then I got bored of rock and roll lifestyle. Uh huh. And I had sort of an introspective period when I moved to New York, mm -hmm. and I studied lute there. Okay. And uh, that's where it came from. Uh huh. And then, you, what kind of music did you play then? When I moved to New York? Yeah, when, and on the lute, yes. Uh, first, yeah, yeah, I studied, you know, Renaissance music and I did classical stuff and I made a CD of that and then... But then uh, I got into, like, composing mirror images for lute and... Uh, what do you mean by that? Well, it's just like, you know, like, for example, a palindrome, like the word madam. Like, if you split it in half, it becomes one thing. And mirror image in composition and uh, that's kind of what I use now. And uh, the first CD I made was backwards Renaissance lute pieces I played. It was called Retrograde. So you really took a piece and played it backwards? Yes, I played all the uh, classical pieces backwards. Yeah, people thought I was nuts. Yeah. You, 
You were just reading the, the score like flipping this way and not that I way. I was writing it out. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. In, in tablature, which is the, f you know, the French tablature, which is the classical notation. It's uh -huh. not normal uh, musical staff notation. Uh -huh. And then after that, uh, I decided to keep doing mirror images, but you know, do my own themes and then but play them backwards. And that's what I'm still doing. You still play your themes backwards? Yes. Uh huh. And um, you're you're planning to do more music for film scores? Yeah, I am. I am. You know, I did more, and I'm doing more. Yes, yes. It comes. You know, it comes naturally now. It's. I have a few uh, also very talented friends, and I'm working with them. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not on the level uh, that Jim is, but you know, still they're like, you know, young, ambitious, and adventurous, which is for me. Uh, I guess two things are important for me, like working with friends, and then the second is, you know, to be adventurous. Mm -hmm. So that means also um, going to different kinds of music than than you have done until now, for example. Oh yeah, I can do different stuff. You know, I do. I also play like loud electric stuff, mm -hmm. know, or electronics, or noise. You know, mm -hmm. I guess. Because you, you already told me that perhaps you were going to do the music for an action film. They asked me, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we have to see how it turns out. I might not like the content, you know. You, you know the story already? No, not yet, no. Okay. But you can't can comment. You can't comment, okay. Okay, and um, you're going to perform in, uh, in Holland at different uh, locations with your music, with the film. Perhaps you can tell us when and where. Uh, yeah, I'm playing uh, in Groningen on the 2nd at Forum Image and then uh, in The Hague at Filmhuis Den Haag uh, on the 7th um, and then uh, I guess some more uh, film, but you can go to my website. And these are concerts uh, after or, f or uh, uh, before the they're film usually, screening? They're usually after the film and I do a little talk mm -hmm. and people can ask me stuff. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine yourself playing the music for the film live with Jim Jarmusch? You mean during the images? Yeah. No, I wouldn't like to do that. No, why not? No, I mean, because, you know, I have a certain idea of the film and a certain idea of the score. And, you know, I, I don't think, I, you know, I don't think that will work. No. You know, it's already, I mean, it's sort of like, you know, looking at your work back, I mean... I don't think that, that, that works. Uh, it's done, you know, you created mm -hmm. it, you know, you don't like revisit it like that. Okay. <coughs> You're going to play now for us? A half an hour or more or less? I, uh, what kind of music are you going to play now? What music? Uh, just, uh, you know, lute pieces. Not from the film, but yeah, lute pieces. Oh, there will be a few uh, from the film in there. Yeah, if you, you know, pay the right attention, okay. then you recognize them. Okay, then we will them. recognize them. Okay, well, thank you very much. Joseph. You're very welcome, thank okay, you. Okay, thank you.
from Only Loves Left Alive and it's called Our Hearts Condemn Us. Mm -hmm. 